Did you know that you can defeat writer's block by creating a content calendar? Well, you can. Let's take a look at that. Hey, it's Eric Swanson from the Eric Swanson Letter, and I thought we'd talk today about creating your own content calendar. What is a content calendar? A content calendar, or sometimes it's referred to as an editorial calendar, is simply a method, a system of figuring out what you're going to write about on your blog ahead of time and recording it so that when you come to write a blog post and you find yourself saying, well, what do I write about? I don't know what I feel like writing about. You're not sure. You have a place to go and you've lined up topics that you need to write about and you've given yourself some interesting data that can go with those topics. You have a place to go. It's like, oh, I'll write about this. Here it is right here. A lot of people use spreadsheets, and there are some fantastic free templates you can download right now that'll give you a spreadsheet with some interesting things to fill in, including some that I've developed. A really good one is from HubSpot. In all the cases with the free downloading of templates, you're going to have to surrender your email address, sign up for a newsletter. That's usually the deal. If you've been doing this for any length of time, you know that's kind of the trade. You get it free, but you sign up for a newsletter. So that's that's the deal. But that's not a bad price. And these people are obligated not to sell your email or over-email you. And if you find some unreputable person that's abusing your email, you can always disconnect yourself from that newsletter. That's always your right. One of the things I really love about putting together some system for a content calendar is it's giving you a nice overview of what you're going to be talking about on your blog. And that's important because you want to cover all the different little subtopics, the things that you and your visitors are interested in. In this case, we're on a writer's journey together and there's lots of things out there, tools that we're going to use, people who can help educate and inspire and even entertain us, show us things to do the right way and maybe steer us away from things to be done the wrong way because that happens I've only been doing this for I guess we're in the three to six month point I haven't really got that memorized but I've been working on this for this time and I've already made plenty of mistakes but I learned from those mistakes I don't plan on doing them again and the good thing about writing any blog is you can write about those mistakes and try to help other people who are on the journey a little behind you and you can help them. You know, that's a funny thing. If you're um, ever wondering about, oh, I'm going to write an ebook or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, but I'm not an expert. See, that's one of those things that just talks you out of doing what you should be doing that allows you to quit because there are really few actual experts out there. And that's really the truth. The whole purpose here, the whole journey, the, the structure is to learn. And you beat the bushes, as I like to say, and you get out there, you find out, you pick and choose the best stuff, you do your best with common sense and your own intuition to ascertain what in this is bullshit, excuse my French, and what of this is real information. And even in the time I've been on this, let's finally do it, writer's journey, I've come through that full circle more than once. I've found some fantastic gurus who have taught me a lot of great stuff, but even some of the best gurus, the people who really are successful, have been doing this, some of them like more than 10 years, have some wrong information or not the best information. I'm not trying to dog those people out. It's just the way this works. There's a lot out there to learn, to do, to find out what works and what doesn't, and then what's good for you. You're your own person. Some of these techniques, there's a million ways to do it. And you're going to pick the ones that work for you that you enjoy the most. Well, I've met a couple of guys, and I'll just name them. There's these two guys. And uh, 
Jim and Ricky, and they run a site called Income School. And these two guys really opened my eyes, and they're about half of my age at least, as to some of the things I thought were going to be necessary when it comes to search engine, work, keywords that you got to go find when you're deciding what to write about that's going to help you with Google and bringing visitors to your site. They have a very simple approach, and it's the truth. You go to plain old Google, type in your topic, and you keep an eye on the auto-suggest. You go to the bottom, and there's related searches, and there's the people also ask in the top middle. That's all gold. Now, some of that stuff isn't even in English structure, because it's an algorithm, obviously, spitting that stuff back. But I'd say 80, 90% of it's pretty good stuff. And you will see things in those results that are gold. It's like, oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Let's write about that. Or let's develop that topic. And, of course, you pop that in, you can get even more, you know, dig down deeper into those subtopics. Your other chapter points within your blog article. Okay? This is how it's done. And you don't have to go out there. You can. I mean, if you can afford it, the tools are probably fantastic in many ways. There's some very expensive tools for search engine optimization, for keyword research. You really don't need them. That's something I learned from these two income school guys. And I'm very thankful because, frankly, even if I have the money, I don't want to spend 70 or more dollars a month on somebody's keyword tool. I just don't want to do it. And at least at this point, I don't need to. And if you really take a look at it, I think you'll find you don't need to either. Now, down the line, when I've got the money coming in and I really want to get esoteric about keywords and that kind of thing, maybe I'll jump into those shark-infested waters at some point. But for right now, don't need it. Go to plain old Google. See what Google's telling you. Google is trying to tell you. This is what to write about, dummy. This is what to write about. This is it. See this? This is what you want to write about. That's what Google does. It's great. So use Google. It's free. And let Google tell you what these topics should be. Then you pop those into your content calendar. And this is going to help with your organization, keep you motivated in times when you're wondering, oh, what do I write about? What do I write about? You'll know what to write about because you predestined it. You did some good organizational work ahead of time and you're ready to go. I'm glad you came. I hope you decide to grab my Scrivener template. I got a great little template that I built for Scrivener. Scrivener's a tool I love. And if you love it too, I got a free Scrivener template for you. The only price is come into my email, my newsletter, and you can have my Scrivener template. Isn't that great? Come get it. Go get the HubSpot template. Go find other great templates. Pull them down and try them out. See what content templates are all about. Check out my blog post. Hope you find it as helpful as I have found it. I think you will. Thank you for coming. It's always great to see you here at the Eric Swanson Letter. We'll speak again.